Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to learn all about stem cells. So I chose this picture here. It shows that there's a stem cell and it could turn into all of these different types of cells. And that's actually one of our definitions of stem cell, a cell that can turn into different types of cells or turn into, uh, or, or can divide and turn into more stem cells. So let's take a look at our learning goals for today. You should be able to describe stem cells and their purpose, and you should be able to compare and contrast embryonic stem cells versus adult stem cells. So first of all, stem cells are undifferentiated cells that are able to differentiate into other types of specialized cells. Now hopefully you've already watched the video on cellular differentiation and you know that differentiated cells are cells that have specific roles in the body and have specific appearances and specific abilities to perform those roles. So stem cells can turn into any different type of cell or many different types of cells depending on the type of stem cell. So there are two types, embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Now normally when we talk about stem cells, people think of the embryonic stem cells, but in an adult, there are stem cells as well. So let's look at the embryonic stem cells first. They can turn into any type of specialized cell. So they have the ability to turn into a skin cell or a nerve cell or a stomach cell or whatever they want to turn into. And they usually come from a four or five day old human embryo and those are usually extras from in vitro fertilization. Uh, adult stem cell on the other hand can differentiate into different types of cells but it cannot differentiate into any type of cell. So for example there are adult stem cells that can turn into any type of blood cell but they couldn't turn into a nerve cell. So they have the ability to differentiate into a close closely grouped type of cells, but not any type of cell they want. Um, and they can divide and self-renew indefinitely. So just some terminology here. Totipotent means that they can differentiate into all stem cells possible. Pluripotent means they can differentiate into almost any type of stem cell, and those are the embryonic stem cells. And then multipotent means that they can differentiate into closely related family of cells, and those would be the adult stem cells. So let's just take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe stem cells and their purpose, and you should be able to compare and contrast embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. If you can do all of these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye.